Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel and we are back with another seasonal perfume tray and we're moving on to one of my favorite seasons of the year which is fall. Y'all, I'm super excited. I've been counting down the days until fall had arrived and fall is here for real. I feel it in the air, I smell it, so... Yes, so this is my um, summer perfume tray. If you guys missed my perfume tray update, I literally went over every single perfume that was on the tray for the summer. So I'm not going to talk about it at all as I'm removing them from this tray because I touched bases on everything. If you see something missing, make sure you watch that video, which I'll have a link in the card somewhere in this video. Um, just so you know what's going on and why it's not on the tray. So, yeah. Um, watch me remove these and let's add some new goodies. All right, y'all. So I'm holding my phone recording this. So if it's unstable, that is the reason why. But yeah, let's go ahead and start adding some fragrances. I feel like I always add this to my perfume tray every fall. So you guys won't be surprised when you see this. Um, I'm really trying to complete this, finish this fragrance. I don't know if I can because it's still a lot and it's a, such a huge bottle. But this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Be just right when you spray it. So yeah, this is where I am with Marc Jacobs Decadence. So I still have quite a bit to go but i've had that in my collection for so long i really really need to try to use it up all right next fragrance is jessica simpson's fancy um i plan on using this to layer with other fragrances it's just not something that i like to wear alone it's kind of like blah like it's just okay which is why i don't reach for it that much so i'm gonna see what combinations i can come up with fancy this fall and if you know i like it more after that next fragrance we're gonna use is eau de juice this is good energy and i really like this i think this is a good year round fragrance i wanted something fruity fun easy to throw on and this is just that i picked out a lot of fragrances y'all so i don't know if they're all gonna fit on the tray but we'll see Next, I have Katie's Perry Matte Love, and this is like a sweet caramel vanilla fragrance. Um, I have finished a Katy Perry fragrance. I think it was, it was, it was Mad Something. Um, it was the one that had the purple liquid, and it's like a vanilla fragrance. That smelled really good, but it didn't last long. This lasts just a little bit longer than that, but once again, it does not last that long, and but it's a really nice, it's a nice scent, so I want to get a lot more use out of that. Next, another easy reach is Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. This is going to be so fun to wear. Um, it just reminds me of apples, like a sweet, fruity, juicy apple. And that's going to be fun when you're doing fall activities, going to pumpkin patches, picking apples, all of that. So, yeah, this is perfect for fall. All right, next I have Toka Isabel. I want to try to use up more of this fragrance. I still have quite a bit left. I really like this fragrance when I first got it because I found it for, at TJ Maxx for $20. I think that's what made me like it a lot. But this fragrance is just not me. It's, it has leather in it. It's like a really leathery, edgy fragrance and that's just not <laughs> my personality i'm gonna see if i can mix it with some stuff that will make me want to wear a little bit more and it's kind of like it kind of has like an oily scent as well so like an oily leather type fragrance i love the bottle though love the bottle next we have gucci guilty pour femme and i believe this is the edp i don't know y'all i believe so gucci guilty pour femme and this smells just like the other Gucci Guilty, I still have not been able to tell the difference from the one that I finished. Was it this year? I think I finished it this year. We'll see in my yearly <clears throat> fragrance empties. Or it might have been last year. Yeah, it was last year. I'll show you guys because I still have the bottle. It was the fragrance that I finished last year. It smells exactly like this one. And this is a toilet 
fragrance and y'all i miss it so much just holding holding it but yeah this smells exactly like it to me so yeah we're gonna be wearing that and that the other one used to be my work fragrance so i'll see if i can if this will be good for me to wear to work as well another one we have it's valentino's donna born in roma y'all can see i have not worn this much at all a lot of people love this fragrance but i have not fallen in love with this fragrance at all this is my least favorite um out of well i think i only have two i have um born in roma coral fantasy i love that one that's the top at the top of my list then we have that so i'm gonna i'm gonna see how i feel about that next we have a dossier another dossier fragrance this season and it's ambery saf saffron and this is supposed to be a inspired fragrance for baccarat's rouge 540 you know everybody was duping this and to me let's smell it it smells exactly like cloud and it kind of smells like a lot sweeter so it kind of to me it kind of smells like pink cloud because the pink cloud was a lot more sweet this smells sweeter than the original cloud and so i'm getting pink cloud vibes from this and yeah it smells really good um, I don't remember longevity or anything. I haven't worn it that much. So, yeah, we'll see. It smells good. All right, another one that I want to try to finish is Trezor's Midnight Rose. Y'all, I've had this for such a long time. I'm almost done with it. This used to be my signature, like, going out, date night, uh, club type scent when I used to go to clubs. Do not go to clubs anymore. That's how long I've had this fragrance, like, my girls' nights. The, this bottle just brings back all the memories of my girls' nights, date nights, um, going to the club, like I said. And to me, this fragrance gives off that vibe. Yeah, like, and then another reason, I went to, uh, what do you want to call it, like a gentleman's club to be proper for, <laughs> for YouTube. I went to a gentleman's club and I felt like I smelled this fragrance on the dancer so that's another thing like it just gives me i feel like i can't wear this during the day because it gives me those type of vibes so yeah y'all i know i might have been wearing it that night so maybe i was smelling myself and thinking that i was smelling it on the dancer i'm not sure but <laughs> yeah this gives me those type of vibes and yeah i don't i don't go out much at all anymore um so it's been hard for me to finish it but yeah, I want to finish it and I'm just going to start wearing it like even during the day. I feel like it may be more appropriate during the day in the winter time, but we're going to do it for fall. Plus my anniversaries in the fall season, like maybe I can bring back some memories and wear that. All right, next we're going to be wearing Coach Dream Sunset. This has like an ice cream note, which is why I want to wear it during the fall. I had, I think I tried to wear it like earlier, like maybe spring or summer, and it was just giving me bergamot. I think it's bergamot in this fragrance. I'm not sure, but like a citrusy scent that I did not like, that I did not smell in it last year. So I'm hoping that now that it's cooling down, I will get that ice cream note that I originally loved the fragrance for but this does smell like um Carolina Herrera's good girl a little bit just like more creamy I guess when you get the the, the ice cream note another fragrance we're going to put on the tray is Truly's Unicorn Fruit and this will be good to um just wear at night maybe even during the day like when I go in the office, it wouldn't be too much of a strong fragrance. Um, it doesn't last super long, but it doesn't go away or dissipate as bad as the Coco Cloud by Truly. I really like this. It's like more of a easier wear version of, um, not Pink Cloud, Pink Sugar. It's Pink Sugar without the burnt um, candy smell. So cotton candy smell. So yeah, I love to wear this. And is it gonna fit? I was trying to see if I could fit everything on the tray without adding. Okay. All right, and I want to try to add some samples as well. And y'all, I did pick out my fragrances ahead of time. There was probably one more that I wanted to add that I don't have up here. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can fit it up there. This is Laura Mercier's Ombre Vanille. Y'all, I've been fiending to wear this. I put this dent in it last, was it the winter time, I think? So I'm like halfway done with this bottle. 
Y'all, and I don't want to use it because I got this super cheap at TJ Maxx as well. And you can still get it um, from the Laura Mercier website, but it's so, it costs so much more. I don't know why they had these, uh, they were selling these at TJ Maxx. I think maybe they changed the packaging or something, but ooh, I'm glad I got my hands on this. This is so good. At first, the thing is, at first when I got this, I didn't really like it that much, but I fell in love with it, especially when I paired it with, where is it? magic in the air that's how i use up i think the body cream i'll have is the fragrance mist left y'all can't see but y'all cannot wait to pair these two together mm, 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 mm. Whew. yeah i'm definitely adding this to the tray and i also want to add it because my daughter she messes she comes and plays in my closet where my fragrances are and she had this fragrance and now i can't find the top so, yeah, I don't like to be without my tops. Okay, okay, I found a way to fit it. So now we're just going to add maybe one or two, like, minis, travel sprays or minis. Because I really need to dwindle down my travel spray. This is a rollerball. This is Nest Cocoa Woods. I want to try to finish this. I'm, like, halfway done, as y'all can see. And this is like a unisex chocolate. Like, it's a chocolate that men can wear, women can wear. Um, It's not anything that I feel the need to get a full bottle of because I don't really like it like that. But I don't mind wearing it to bed. So, we're going to put Cocoa Woods there. All right, and let's get one more. Hmm. Which one? Which one? Um, sweet almond blossom i don't think is like a fall scent but maybe you can wear it all year round i want to put this on the tray because i have not worn this you guys i just sprayed it for my haul when i hauled it and i have not worn this yet so i want to get some use see if i like it maybe i could pair it with um, magic in the air or even ombre vanilla i like pairing it with magic in the air because ma does magic in the air have an almond note I don't know. I feel like it has an almond note. Let's see. Yep, it does. Almond flower, sparkling persimmon, white iris with vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. So maybe if I pair this with magic in the air, it'll give me some almond because I don't think this has almond in it. I don't know, but it's called almond blossom, sweet almond blossom. So yeah, we're going to add this to the tray as well. And y'all is stuffed. This is my tray and for some reason, I'm really loving this tray. Like, I really love how it looks. So, yeah, you guys, I didn't put any in the front this time around. I just want to stick to what's on the tray so I can actually get some things used up. So, the question is, what do I want to use up? I want to use up Cocoa, uh, Nest Cocoa Woods. I want to use up Trezor Midnight Rose. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get this done. Uh... What is this? Mark Jacobs Decadence. I would love, like, that would be the the goal of all goals to finish that this fall. Like, if I could get that done, that would be amazing, you guys, to, like, get such a huge fragrance out of my perfume collection. That would be amazing. So, I would like to use up Mark Jacobs Decadence because it's really old. I could easily use this up, but I don't want to. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be my goal. And then, of course to put some major dents in all the other ones because I have so many fragrances and then I want to buy so many more. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my fall fragrances, make sure you thumb up this video. Let me know down below what fall scents you guys have been, have you, you have started to wear and what you plan on wearing this fall. Um, there's so much more that I could have added, but these are the ones that I'm going to focus on and I'll definitely, definitely be wearing other fragrances this fall, um, and winter. So yeah, there's, I'm just looking at my perfumes. I'm just like, oh, I, I should have added that. I should have added that. But no, I'm just going to stick with these and focus on these. So yeah, please thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.